This figure flowchart represents the life of a medical student and each single gem here represents one big subject. As you can see in MBBS we have a lot to study and in this video I'll be talking about the main exam which will ask us about every single subject that we have studied and it's going to be difficult and it is much closer than we think it is. This is the syllabus of NEET UG an examination which people give to get into medical college and this is the syllabus of NEXT national exit test an examination one will give to get out of medical college and become a doctor. So each single gem over here represents one particular subject and each of these subjects is very very important for the examination. Hi everyone, my name is Anuj, I'm a medical student at GMC Nagpur and thank you so much for being here. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit specific but for all the other people who are watching, please bear with me because this will show you the amount of work uh, a doctor has done in order to become a doctor and hopefully shed some light upon uh, the different exams that we as medical students have to give. Anyways, enjoy the video. So for next we've got 19 subjects. Out of these 19 subjects, 7 subjects have little less importance in the examination but the remaining have a lot of importance. So let me just explain this next neat PGA etc drama to all of you guys who are new to this. So what used to happen was that after internship, after a medical student has done his internship, there was this examination called as neat PG which was a choice for most people if they wanted to get PG which most people did. So they gave the examination after their internship and got a decent rank, chose a uh, decent college and got the branch which they wanted. So remember the words over here, NEET PG, choice and internship. In next what has happened is that next examination is going to be the new replacement for NEET PG. And what is going to happen is that next is going to be split into two parts, next one and next two. Next one is the complete theory model of the examination, whereas the next two is the complete practical model of the examination. NEET PG had, it, had its one big disadvantage was that it had no way of testing whether the person actually had a practical knowledge of the subject but next is going to do that with next two. The problem however arises when I tell you the dates of the examination. Next one is going to be conducted right after final year before internship starts. This gives us a huge problem that is lack of clinical exposure and we medical students have been suffering for lack of clinical exposure this year as well because of the entire pandemic and we weren't able to go out to clinics. Moreover, every single hospital, every single bed has been converted into a COVID bed so there are no normal patients for us to look at and learn from them. And lack of clinical exposure, second of all, we are in the delusion that we have a lot of time for next but in reality Right after your final year is done, you will be faced with one of the most difficult examinations of your entire medical journey. Even I am terrified of it. So let us take this model example of me, a second slash third year medical student, just starting out in third year. I have got just the third year MBBS left and just the fourth year MBBS left and then I will be faced with next. In this phase, I have to cover around 10 subjects which are extremely huge, extremely bulky with a lot of volatile information. Plus, I have to revise everything a lot of times before I actually end up giving the examination. Let us put into perspective NEET UG versus NEXT. So NEET UG was a very very easy pace compared to NEXT. The reason is first of all we had limited limited subjects, we had a lot of time and we had 100 focus towards the examination. We had no colleges, we had no clinical postings, we had no tuitions, nothing. We just used to sit at home and study and study and study. That's why we got such great marks and such great rank in NEET UG. Next is going to be so difficult, lack of clinical exposure, a lot of postings in the college, a lot of uh, you know theory practical classes in the college which you can't miss, compulsory attendance, apart from that you also as you age you tend to develop more complex friendships, relationships and whatnot. You also start your new businesses, you start on different ventures for example YouTube and these all you know limit your time physically so that the time that you can allot to studies is naturally decreased. So what do you get once you combine decreased time interval, uh, uncertainty about the examination and a lot of subjects? You get fear from the examination and sometimes I find myself fearing about what is going to happen. But with all of these factors in mind, I think that we have got around 18 months to prepare for the examination and give the examination after having multiple revisions. And to do that, we need a strategy. So here's my strategy about how I'm going to prepare for next. In one of Bone Teacher's live stream, he said this, he, he told us that NEET PG or NEXT, no matter what examination it is, if you have completed the syllabus, if you have read the syllabus, if you understand the syllabus, no matter where they ask the question from, you will be able to answer it. And that was so logical. 
My number one priority right now as a medical student is that I need to complete the syllabus as soon as possible, probably in this year itself, and quickly start with revision so that the next year, in fourth year, I'll be having a lot of time to revise, give grand tests, you know, reflect upon my mistakes and keep improving upon the complete syllabus which I know. It will be a lot of hard work and at that time probably I'll have to decrease the frequency of the uploads as well, but I think it will be in the end worth it. There's only one thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to do marrow completely from start to the end. That is the one thing that I'm going to stick towards because from first year I've been using it and it has never failed me even once. I used marrow in first year and I got 81.5% in the university examination. I used it in second year and my papers have gone excellent and I feel like good things could happen to me. <laughs> And I plan to use it in third year and fourth year as well. So my first strategy is to complete all the video lectures by at least this year. So I have 365 days in which I'll complete all the videos from all the different subjects. And right after watching a particular subject, I'll solve the question bank for that subject. I'll keep on revising and hopefully by the end it should be good. What I'll also utilize from Maro is this thing called as tests. So they've got this thing called as mini tests, which I've been attempting a lot recently. So these mini tests are small tests with much less amounts of questions. Uh, they are spaced across all the different subjects of MBBS and what this allow you to do is that even if you haven't studied the subjects ahead of you, you can attempt that test, you can check what is your current status. So if your current status like mine is around 75 to 85 to sometimes 90 percentile, that is good because after you're going to study all the different subjects ahead of you, you're going to realize that it's going to get really really easy and it's going to be easier for you to push from that 90 percentile all the way up to 99 or 100 percentile even there basically videos question banks and lastly the small tests which they have in my last year of preparation uh, during final year what i will do is that i will solve every single grand test that maro has grand, grand tests are these tests which comprise of the exact syllabus exact pattern uh, of the question paper and they give you a real sense of what the examination is. Amount of content that you get in Marrow, it's kind of overdue but it will get you the amount of knowledge required to solve any question that they give. I remember this one sentence uh, which my sister told me after she came back after giving her neat PG examination. So she told me that do every single line of Marrow, every single question of Marrow is going to you know somehow be manipulated to come into the next examination. And the answer is simple because the people who are making the question banks in Marrow are the toppers of the examination itself so they know what is important and what the examiners could be asking this is also what my very good friend dr darshan patel told me when i had a call with him i've already made a video about marrow i talk about it a lot but this is my only strategy for next do marrow that's it everything is going to be fine i trust in marrow and that's all i need i know that the journey ahead is going to be difficult for me and for a lot of other students as well because we haven't hardcore started preparation for next or need pg and second of all i personally have got a lot of stuff behind my back that i have to keep working on every single week every single day and if i don't work on it it's going to collapse so i've got that but in the end i tell myself this is a challenge the only way in which you can know your true self is to keep testing your limits and that is what I'm going to do and in the end there's one single line which I believe in which you know overpowers me through everything that is preparation is everything preparation is the only thing that is going to you know help you in any examination with that I think the video is over and thanks a lot for watching me talk about all of these things anyways I hope you enjoyed hope you get something out of this and yeah until next time this is your boy Anush Patel I will see you soon bye